it's been a particularly particular week my life for some reason i had never been able to put my finger on is filled with idiots i sit on a bus oh look there's a bunch of idiots sitting down the front i get a job oh look half of my colleagues are wankers i get involved in a local volunteer land care group boom surprise surprise a pack of jerk faces my life is filled with idiots at a density way more than statistically probable rate but this week seems to have taken the biscuit i'll give you the highlights we don't have time for a lot a customer support person who only ever answered two of my questions despite me telling her that i'm frustrated by her half answers you know what she is telling me i am sorry but we have too many things for now at once but there were only two things a manager at work spent 15 minutes in a meeting shitting on that business services unit the thing is prior to last week he was their teams manager you know the charity event i am running i had a volunteer offer to contact media outlets for us a help we desperately needed but she didn't do it and you know what excuse she gave us she rolled her ankles must be the foot she was using to make the phone calls poor lamb anyways the issue is i can't tell you who is stupid it must be the customer support rep couldn't answer both of my questions pathetic but then what kind of manager tells the whole branch how bad the team he was just managing is what an admission of incompetence buffoon but then who blames a foot for not being able to make the phone calls can you imagine how embarrassed you would be if you gave me such a ridiculous excuse was she expecting me to send her some flowers but then who is the biggest stupid seems that whoever i have been thinking at the time comes out at the top my conclusion is that this must be a case of schrodinger's moron they might be alive they might be dead but whenever you look at them they become more of a moron than any of the other morons what can i do hmm? what can i do